The national conference up 29 from last time. They are leading in 29, contesting in 56, leading. So far, they've got uh, leads and results of leads in 47 seats, of which they are leading in 29. And um, even as you speak... Uh, the Congress is down look, one. Yes. So, you know, I mean, had it not been... Minus two for the now, NC, because... Is, the that, is that the case? Yes, the latest trend. So, trends. minus one, minus two. Hmm. So, the Congress is doing quite poorly. So, it's the the NC, the single largest party, I think we are fair to say, hmm. Professor Shatri. should note that the Congress-NC alliance is coming close to the halfway mark. Yeah. Uh, they are at 44 now in any moment. Entirely on the bank. Of, of, oh, so, that please. entire thing, who is going to be the single largest party, that has been pretty much resolved. The Congress's performance at down one, Maria was seeing down two on her machine. Yeah. That is uh, a big factor against Which them. Is a fact. The reason for that is... Down two. The, yeah. the reason for that is Congress is fighting largely in Jammu. Jammu. And in Jammu, the BJP seems to be doing well. So that explains the Congress not doing well in terms of its numbers. Okay, so all the numbers are essentially coming for the NC because they had contested on more number of seats. They did so in the Valley region. Remember... Post delimitation, these are elections that are happening. So that's an important aspect to point out. There are 47 in the valley and 43 in Jammu. There were lots of talks of how this, you know, uh, delimitation is this really anti valley on that narrative. But I can uh, see Nazir Masoodi joining us live. Nazir, of course, very, very early, 9 a.m., but the numbers are consolidating. Nazir, are you a fan of Laddus as well? <laughs> Of course, if anybody offer me here. Uh -huh. So I, I saw Umar Abdullah just passing through this road here at Bolivar. He was yeah. really smiling, very happy. And they all said he, had, he will be, you know, talk after lunch when he will be having clear numbers. But what we have got so far, you know, besides the, you know, EC numbers which we have leads, the locally what I have been able to gather th so far, NC is leading, these are early trends, in 36 seats, Congress on 10, BJP on 26 seats, and PDP on five seats. In fact, early leads also show that a national conference may be leading, is leading in Bijbahara as well, where Mahbo Mufti's daughter, Iltija Mufti, is contesting. And uh, here in Srinagar, behind me, where counting is taking place at SKICC, Nazir, just hold I'll on tell to you, for thoughts. example, Tanvir Saad, the Congress the NC the alliance in early trends have actually crossed the halfway mark to form the government. If these numbers actually hold, then the Congress NC I, at 9 a.m., 9, 10 have crossed the halfway mark. Yes, but these are very early. In both the states. Yes. Yes. At, yes, go at, ahead. Exactly, but some of them are still postal ballots. Some yes. of them, some a bus round has been completed in many, you know, places. For example, I'll tell you, uh, Tanvir Sadiq of National Conference Chief Spokesman is leading from Zadibal. Mm -hmm. Ali Mohammed Sagar, General Secretary, is also leading. Bashir Ahmad Viri of National Conference from Bijbara is leading against Mahwa Mufti's daughter Iltija Mufti. National Conference candidate Safuddin Bhatt is leading from Khan Saab in, in Badgam district. Mia Meher Ali is leading in Kangan as well. Sakina Yitu, senior National Conference leader, and uh, uh, she is leading from Damhar. But Nazir, let me just ask you this. And there because are People's Conferences leading from Handba. Nazir, Sajad the story of independence to me is also fascinating. Mm. The independents are doing disastrously this time around. Although yeah, huge exactly. numbers were fielded. In 2014, there were 17, yeah. uh, you know, who, who won. Yeah. This time, or, or who were in the lead position. This time, they're down yeah. 17. And the PDP is as big a story. The PDP is down 16 this time from last time around. In 2014, they were 24. They are down 16. So the immediate political future of the PDP is something which Mehbooba Mufti would need really be needed to introspect, call and, it what you may. And just to add to that, uh, Nazir, you were saying now okay, that okay. Iltija Mubarak Mufti, Vishnu, daughter Vishnu of... Maria. Yes. Go ahead. Omar Abdullah is leading from both uh, Gandharbal and Badgam. Right. Okay. What so about that's a big news. Iltija. Umar what about Iltija who Mufti? Lost recent parliament elections. Yes. Iltija, so far what we are getting that she was trailing in, 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 uh, in Bijbihara, it was Bashir Ahmad Viri. Mm -hmm. But as I said, these are early trends, mix sure. up the postal ballots as well as first round. And these are early trends. Just a word we'll on Bijbihara. Two, three rounds. This is then of course, we can <coughs> say, yes, which... The family yeah. turf of the Muftis, Iltija is making her you know, electoral... You know, Bashir debut. Ahmad Viri, hmm. 
and okay, Bashir okay, Ahmad Viri. Okay, okay. Viri. there is Bashir Ahmad Viri is leading. He has got so far 3,451 votes and he is leading. And okay. he, uh, his nearest rival is Mahwa Mufti's daughter, Iltija that, Mufti. That's an important one. So it Bridge is Bihara. it is the BJP, PDP actually a setback, early setback for the PDP as they are only leading on five seats. Independents were 40 post per person candidates. Hmm. And they were being accused of being backed by the, you know, BJP. And in fact, BJP president here, Ravinder Rena, during his repeated interviews after, uh, has been saying they have the independent candidates in Kashmir who are being backed by them. With their help, they can form the government. Sure.